What's up guys and welcome back to another video. And today I'll be uh, doing a tutorial on how to make a drift tune. Gonna go and get a car first. Hey man, where are you been um, keeping yourself? I want to try and find something that's not a very commonly used car. Um. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll go with a speed racer kind of look there. Oh, but I don't have enough credits, damn it. Alright, so then let's go back to another one. If I, nope, I've got all. Okay, so now... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that one instead then. Paint job doesn't fit, but oh well, who cares? Yes. And now to the garage to get upgrades. Hey, how's it going? What can I do to help you? Okay. So as before, we're gonna go with first adjustable upgrades. So things like brakes, sway bars. I can't do springs. Hmm. Must already be adjustable. And we're gonna throw roll cage in this one though. Help tie everything together, make it more predictable. No clutch yet. Actually, yeah, we'll throw that in too. No. I run manual with clutch, so a clutch up upgrade doesn't usually help me too much, but if you're using manual with uh, without clutch, it'd probably be a good idea to get this. And if you're drifting, you shouldn't use automatic at all. Should also turn your stability and your traction control off, and your ABS is optional. I don't use it, but that's just me. What kind of body kits do we have? Nope, it's all arrow.
And we'll go and put a different engine in. Don't want a two liter. I'll go with a three liter though. Naturally aspirated. That one's not. And I'll keep it. What is this rear wheel drive? Yes, I'll keep it that. Do I want that? No. Not right now. I might have to get it though. Yeah, we're gonna get it. I'm just trying to stay away from the um, the turbo lag there at about what was that about 2,000 RPM? The car should never really be there anyways, so I'll get it. Um, yeah, that's enough horsepower for this car. Now go to tires. No. Can't upgrade that. I normally like to keep my cars in A class with 650 horsepower or less. Want to upgrade the tire woods? Give me a little bit more grip. Because even though we're trying to make the car slide, we don't want it to slide too much and make it uncontrollable. And I'll throw different rims on. Do, 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 do. Maybe those? No. <laughs> it's not like you can see them anyways. But I do it because it makes the car feel different. I like to go with a bigger rim because it slides to me, it slides more smoothly once you do get it to slide. Mm. Now let's go with 17s. And then we'll go out and try that out now, as is. Oh, it would be in the rain too. Oh well. Whoa. That's too much horsepower for this car. So... Can I do upgrades from here? No, I don't think I can. Whoa. I died. Hey there, what's up? So Let's go and take those turbos off. What's the car? That's why. It only weighs like a thousand pounds. So that 475 horse is plenty. Sorry. Let's try this again. Okay. 
Oh, still a little too much. That'll work. I can't drift this. Okay, so in the rain, it's nice as is for the most part, but I think we can get it nicer. Now, just like the last video I made, I do have a formula for a, um, a bass tune. And starting with the, yeah, starting with the, the anti-roll bars, what we want to do is go with the maximum value, which is 40, and then we subtract the minimum value, which is 1, right? So it's 39 times a percent weight. I didn't look at that. Damn it. No, I don't want to apply that. Okay, so now you're not going to need your uh, weight for this, just your front weight, or yeah, so it's 52%. So back into sway bars. So maximum value minus minimum value is 39 times your percent weight so 39 times and percent weight as a decimal right so 39 times 0 0.52 equals 20.28 and then you add the minimum value again it gives you 21.3 And then you do the same thing with the back. Thirty nine times point four eight plus one is nineteen point eight. No. Springs? Well, that's why it's so slidey. So for your springs, do the same thing. Maximum value minus minimum value times percent weight. 4, 18.8 minus... Fifty two point four three sixty six point four times point five two plus fifty two point four two forty two two forty three. And do the same thing for the back. Thank you. 
and I got 228.3, so 228 and a half. Your ride height is as low as it can go. And then your damping, same formula. Max versus min, or max minus min times percent weight plus minimum. 13 minus one gives you 12. Times 0.52 plus 1, 7.2. Then for the back, again, same thing 12 times 0.48 plus 1, 7.2. Now the bump stiffness, for drifting I put the bump at half of the rebound. So it would be 3.6 for the front. And then I think. Apparently I'm having a brain fart. A 3.6. And then... three point four for the back. Apparently I can't do math today. Now braking force. That is all a matter of personal preference. Um, if you're just starting out, I'd recommend leaving it stock. But for me, I've been drifting since Forza 2 with the same settings, or with these settings, 60 and 125. That's what I like to use. Differential, again, personal preference. I've been drifting with the acceleration at 80% and deceleration at 40% since Forza 2. Um, with this car being as light as it is with as much horsepower, I'd go with... I'll probably leave it at stock camber. And then I, I'll leave the tow stock too for now. But on heavier cars, I would normally go with like 1.9 and I don't know, 1 point, 1 degree in the back. And then for the rear toe, I'd normally go negative 0.5. But like I said, this car is so light with so much horsepower, I'll just leave it all stock. If it needs it later, then I'll, I'll add it. Now, caster, I like to put that at seven. It kind of slows away the car, sways a little bit. When you're transitioning, it's not quite so quick and you don't oversteer. Now, tire pressure, you want that at about between 32 and 34 pounds of warm. I said that in my last video too. Now because this is a drift car, your rear tires are going to heat up a lot faster and a lot more than it would if it was you're racing. So you want to lower your tire pressure. That way it's still within the 32 to 34 pound mark. Um... That should be good for now. The gearing. Again, go with your... Uh, adjust your gears so you have a nice curve. 
and then what I like to do. Actually, I'll explain it when I get there. Never mind. Just a minute. Okay, and then, so my gear, it's a half decent curve. So then what I like to do is I like to take my third gear, that one there, and I like to put it so that it kind of intersects that, where that 131 mile per hour is. I like it, my uh, gearing to kind of right where I want my uh, RPMs to be where I, when I'm drifting, I like to, to kind of intersect that line there. So right about there, I'll try that. And we've got tires, gearing, alignment. Doo -doo. If you do choose to go with um, Forza Arrow, Make sure that you set it so that it's all the way down to speed. Because if you're cornering it, puts more weight on the car artificially and it makes it harder to drift. In this case, it might make it easier for this car in particular, but usually it doesn't. So now we'll try that out. Actually, I want to go all the way down to Castellet. Right about there. And I think I'll wait until the uh, rain lets up before I continue. So I'll see you shortly. All right, everyone, welcome back. And looks like the rain has stopped and the asphalt's dry now. So I'm gonna try this car out a little bit. Damn. 
Okay, so it does need more throttle control than what I'm used to. So what, we're, what I'm going to do then, is I'm going to lower the tire pressure a little. Well, that's a little more than a little, but. And I'll adjust the gearing. See how that works. Quite as nice as I was hoping. It's even harder. <clears throat> Let's bring that back up. And you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to make the end of fifth gear go and touch the end of the graph right about there so and try that out damn it man Okay, so what we need to do, because it's still, the back end still coming out from under me, I'm going to add more positive camber, seeing as my, seeing as my rear camber is already at zero. Try and make the whole thing slide smoothly. Actually, you know what? I'll try my uh, racing camber settings. I'll try that. getting there. So that's a bit of a difficult section on that back part.
Okay, so the, this car is a handful to handle. That's just because it's originally built for racing and it's about a thousand pounds with 400 horsepower. But all in all, it's not too bad. But I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner. And we're about to get another storm. This car's not all that bad. Just it's a little difficult to get it with the tighter sections. But the more open area, it's doing half decent. So, I'll go through this, the tuning setup again one more time. <laughs> if you want to do your own setup. That's it everyone, thank you very much for watching, hope you learned a lot, <laughs> um, like, comment, rate, share, subscribe, whatever, um, yeah, I'll see you next time.